Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is the Ithaca M37. I got it from Federway Dispatch Guns. And uh, yeah, so the Federway Discount Guns is really close to me. It's about 20 minutes, so not actually 20, like 10 or 5 minutes away from me. Uh, you know, driving in the car depends on traffic and uh, lights and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a nice shotgun. This was actually used in World War II uh, by the Russian. No, not the Russian. I'm being stupid today. Uh, it was used by the Americans uh, in World War II. It was one of the trench guns. So basically, what that means is they use it in the trenches. You know, for close quarters. Um, if you need need to like kind of ambush a little trench, you would just kind of go in there, kamikaze style, pop, pop, pop. You know, shoot a few bad guys, and they'll. Uh, they'll die or Japs or whatever whoever the Americans were shooting Nazis whatever um, not sure where the trench war actually happened but whatever um, and yeah this is the M37 Ithaca and but this is a clone version of it this is not an actual version so I only paid $200 for this since it's a clone um, and it's not you know very expensive but I mean it's very high quality it shoots very nicely uh, it's full metal very high quality metal um, but you know there are some like condition problems with it. Like there's some de decoloration here. You can see, and like I don't know why, but there's like some weird paint stuff on the handguard. And if I try to rub it off, I rub off the wood also. So yeah. A um, few cool features about this shotgun is if you cock the gun, you can uncock it by pressing this little lever. There you go. And you know if you don't want to fire a weapon. You're like, oh, what do I do now? You know, the shell is already in there, so you can't pull it back. But nope, there's a little tab, and you can uncock it. Very cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, this is the kind of ammo it shoots 12 gauge. Uh, this is a 12 gauge bird shot. And, yeah. So, this weapon has a only like a um, bottom loading feed. I don't know if you can see that. So, you know how most guns, like the Mossberg 500, they have a side breaching thing? Yeah, this one only has it from the bottom. So, as you can see. And I think they did this in World War II because uh, there was a lot of dust and mud and stuff. So, they kind of did this so it's kind of more closed and, you know, it increases reliability. Also, this weapon has uh, this cool feature where you press the trigger down. You can, and once you press this down and pull it up. 